Felix is a five-year-old Samoyed from Germany who already traveled to more than 30 countries. In this week's episode, he goes on the best hikes in the Dolomites in Italy and takes a 12-hour night train all the way back to his home in Germany. Enjoy this lake, huh? Nice view. Um, excuse me, Mister. Mister Doggo. You can't is, read the sign. This is not allowed. You can't read. Felix, you, you wanna, wanna jump in? Love it? A little cool down. <laughs> This little baby is super tired. Hi. Really? Are you ready for a quick detour back home to go on your uncle's wedding? Yeah? We will go on a night train today. You don't want to? It will be fun, I'm sure. Trust me! Night trains are a great way to travel with the dog. You basically start your journey in the evening, go to bed and wake up the next morning at your final destination. The Austrian railway called ÖBB is the biggest company in Europe and offers many routes across the continent. You ready to travel by night train? We started our journey in Innsbruck in Austria and stayed in the train all the way to Hanover in Germany. Felix? Are you tired? Dogs are allowed on all trains but need to wear a muzzle in public areas. They cost an extra fee and you have to book the entire cabin to take your dog with you. There's a huge chaos going on. Our beds are missing. We booked six beds. But they are not here. Huh? Do we have to sleep on the floor tonight? No problem for you, huh? Trying to find our beds? <laughs> yeah. We are still stuck at the train station. The train's already half an hour late because of us <laughs> and two other families. Yeah, so we didn't get the cabin we booked ourselves because we have a dog. We are required to book the cabin, the whole private cabin, but I don't it know because didn't of exist. An, because of an error it didn't exist. And now the people here, the employees, had to rearrange some people going to the seating area. So the people who booked the private cabins, like us, get the private cabins they booked because they were pretty expensive. Now we can have some good slumber. Yes, but before that, we will give you a full tour. Yeah.
Hello. Welcome. Can you show me your room? First things first, most importantly, our slumber spaces. We got four beds. One, two, three, and four. You like it? You want to take the bed up there? There would be enough space for a double lady too. Each of the beds has their own reading lamps. And there is even a menu with some chimkin And as soon as it's slumber time, we can close the blinds. This little table offers the perfect opportunity to discuss doggo lady topics and share a treat. Next to the door there is a control panel. You can adjust the lighting, the temperature, the volume of the train announcements and of course order some chimkin. Down here we have a little trash can, it's very tiny and already filled with Felix food. And the best part is that we have so much space and storage area in this little cabin. Underneath the beds and over the beds. Snacks and drinks for a relaxed snacks? You want it? <laughs> okay. You want one more? The subteilung erfolgt im Bahnhof Nürnberg. Für Fahrgäste Richtung Amsterdam bitte beachten Sie, dass der Zug hält nicht in Frankfurt. Shall we explore a bit of the train? Shall we go around? Unfortunately, we need a muzzle for that. Because in the Austrian trains, doggos have to wear a muzzle. Oh. There are also other cabins available, like cedar cabins or sleeper cabins. Let's check out the toilet. This is the toilet situation. Nothing special, but we wanted to show it to you anyways. Oh, they even got a big mirror. And yeah, a toilet, but no shower. <laughs> You might be wondering where Felix goes to the toilet. So the train has many stops along the way and at some of them it waits for 30 minutes or longer. So there's enough time in between for dogs to stretch their legs outside and do their business. I, <laughs> I just got lost and couldn't remember which of the cabins is ours. So I knocked at three different ones and <laughs> people looked down and was like, oops, sorry. Not mine! <laughs> Each bed comes with a pair of pillows and blankets. Good morning, mister. How was your night? Getting good sleeps. Good morning from the night train. We even got some breakfast delivered and it is a very interesting combination because we have some coffee which is perfect, very, very nice. But we have two Brötchen or bread rolls but only one small little jam. So let's hope it works but we're very thankful to get some breakfast. You want some? We are almost there. You will see grandma very soon. Only 80 minutes delayed. <laughs> Felix! <laughs> Ha <laughs> 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 
First thing first. Komm hier. Lilly, kannst du dich noch erinnern? Oh, wo ist der Kühlschrank? Hier? Oh, Josa, du sollst Durst essen? Guck mal. Oh, wieder zu Hause bei Grandma. Das ist ein lecker Montadella. 